Hello everyone and welcome on back to Resident Evil 7. Now it finally happened. I finally accomplished it. I did it. I finally finished an entire episode and then realized that I had been muted for the entire episode. It's the first time I've done that in three Let's Plays now at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically play the video and I'm going to narrate through it. Um, ordinarily, what I would do instead is just re-record everything. Um, the problem is uh, I'd have to go all the way back and redo before even the Jack fight. Because um, if you remember, we did uh, we saved after we did the room, the escape room, and then we went to the Jack boss fight, got an autosave, and we did not get an autosave again until like half or not halfway, but like a quarter of the way through the ship. So I'd either have to skip to the ship and just you guys would miss all that, or I would have to redo everything up to that point, which I really don't want to have to do, especially since my ship run was actually surprisingly well. So we're going to go ahead and just do it this way for now. And in the future, hopefully it won't be as, uh, as dookie. Actually, hold on. There we go. To go away or okay there we go now this ship run um was actually pretty damn good all things considered oh let me shut up okay so uh, I was actually explaining right here at the start how worried I was for the uh, ship. Um, you know, it ha the ship was an area that I hated when I first started playing this game years ago. And it eventually became a thing where I actually enjoyed the ship, but that was when I knew what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and I had strats built. Um, I had forgotten just about all of my stuff, all of my strats uh, for the ship. And so I was quite worried. Um, and now we didn't do perfectly. There were times where we got hit uh, quite a bit. Uh, but all in all, I was pretty pleased with, with us going through the ship for this uh, first time in, you know, a year or two. Um, what was that? And we didn't have to use a lot of our resources, so that was nice as well. I really, really wish that I had captured my audio because there were some really intense moments, you know, just going through this again. Um, but, you know, this is, this is kind of, this is just what happens. I mean, I knew it was bound to happen eventually. And, uh, <laughs> it happened today, so. I'm not sure if I ended up getting all of the coins on the ship. I found that my memory of the coin locations was actually quite tarnished just because I, I was confusing a lot of my spawns with um, the normal difficulty spawns. Like right here, I'm looking in these corners because there's a spawn up in this area in a normal mode. And um, I, I mean, that's kind of a theme throughout this playthrough I've noticed is that I, I've, I've been, my perception of what is in normal, what is in Madhouse is kind of kind of fucked up just because obviously I haven't played in a, in a long time. And between the two game modes, I mean, there's so many spawns that you kind of have to memorize. So it's very easy to get them confused, even when you are playing this game a lot. Um, yeah, you can just see I'm just looking, doubling back, making sure I'm not missing them. I did end up finding like four coins, I think, maybe five. So I think I got all the ones on the ship. I did not look at a guide. Um, I, I didn't clarify that in the last episode. Um, right here, I must have paused to talk about something. I don't remember. I was probably trying to go through my head of where the locations were. 
Um, I didn't clarify this in the last episode. When I found the, uh, or when I went back to the start of the last episode and showed you guys that coin spawn that I had missed near the greenhouse, um, I had looked at a guide to basically figure out what I had missed up to that point. I did not look at the guide to find um, what I missed after that. So um, I was still going completely off of my memory while I was doing this, doing this segment. Right here is where I was actually talking about me being very, <laughs> very scared for this area. Rightfully so, honestly. The ship is just not, it's not an easy location to go through, in my opinion. Especially on Madhouse. I mean, it is just one of the tougher areas. I mean, the mines are probably the toughest. Settle down, little girl. Settle down. Ah! Are you remembering? What? What are you? <laughs> Man, I really hate how they make you move at a snail's pace through that. So when I drop out into this next zone here, I'm here, I'm looking for another coin, because I'm... I, I remember there being a coin in the water in this next area here. And I spent like a good, I don't know, two minutes looking around for it. I'm going to cut that out. I'm not going to, you know, have you guys see that. Um, I eventually just gave up because I was like, okay, I, I'm not finding it. So but right here, I'll just show you. I was looking around. There is a coin in this water on normal, but it's not here uh, in Madhouse. So I'm going to cut this out. Give me one second. All right. Yeah, I spent like a good two minutes looking around. I'm still looking around. <laughs> looking up in the sky for some reason. What are you talking about? You said! Wait! I'm tired of waiting. So we pick up those bombs there because we use the bombs on the molded in the room with the fuse. Well, we just use, need to use one. I couldn't remember if I needed to use one or two, but thankfully... Um, only one. And right here, actually, I was surprised, because I didn't know that there was even a coin in the washing machine here. I mean, once I picked it up, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I remember this now, but I was <laughs> surprised uh, that there was one there. So I use that, pick up the fuse, and I start running away quickly, and then I realize that he was dead. I had time to look around, but there was nothing else in there anyway. So I made the mistake here, I mean not really a mistake, had I known that I wasn't recording my audio I wouldn't have done this, but <laughs> um, I should have gone to my left down that hallway I just looked through and saved. Because if I had done that, I probably would have just fat, like just narrated that first, you know, 5-10 minutes and then just redone the rest of the ship. But. I didn't so that that alone meant because I didn't save there meant that I would have to go all the way to before I fought Jack so I, I really did not want to do that call me lazy whatever but I feel like my Jack fight was pretty decent all things considered so I, I didn't want to risk you know what? being in a worse position than I was what why you need to remember so we can be a family. Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. I'm too far gone anyway. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. She didn't attack you? It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. Here, take it. 
It has her tissue samples. You find her. You fix this. Okay, Evie. Where are you? Right here's when I was like, oh shit, there's no save point in there. The reason I didn't save in that hallway is because my thought was that there was going to be a save point in here. Which, there is a save point in here, but only in the real world, not in the tape. So I was, you know, going off of a faulty information there. Far more in excess of her body mass. Oh, great. <laughs> I figured I'd wait around for this herb since I probably would need it. All right. We need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Agreed. Ordinarily, I would just start moving, moving out. But as I said, I was pretty nervous about this this area. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, this area is just rough. It's not so much that the enemies are are what makes it difficult, it's just that it's so labyrinth style almost that you kind of get lost easily. And the last thing you want to be doing is kind of running around without, a, without knowing where you're going. You're just, In retrospect, I don't think I needed to kill that guy. I think I could have led him around and been okay. But... We managed, so... Unless this door over here was locked. If this door was locked, I don't know if I even tried this door, but... No, it wasn't, so I could have, yeah, just let him over there. Thing. Unless that grate was closed. That grate might have been closed. I don't know. Either way, I probably didn't have to waste any ammo on him. If anything, I could have just ran around him. I was going to get hit anyway, so I, might, I could have just let him out and saved ammo. We go ahead and just despawn that guy. Here's our first autosave, this area. Again, I don't really think I needed to kill that guy. I, I just can't quite recall. That guy actually might come back out later when you come back when you have to come back through here, so it might be um, better to just kill him then. Otherwise, you have to fight four molded. I think it would suck. Two bullets a damn spare. Crazy. As you can see, I was gonna change the position, but then I realized that I liked it already where it was. 
I, I like to... Uh, the way my brain works when it comes to positioning items is... Left is going to be my most used weapon, generally. So, pistols usually are what's in my left slot in RE games. Right is, like, my second most used weapon. Like, usually that will be a shotgun in these games. And then up I have just for whatever, really. And then down is usually, like, my heavy weapon. So, like, a rocket launcher. Uh... I don't know. Magnum, whatever. And then up, like I said, I kind of just reserve for whatever I want. But usually it ends up being more of a utility slot. So, like, a weapon that I don't need, but it might be good to have. So like, an RE4, I would have, like, if I was running, a like, a machine gun or some something, I would have that in my up slot, even though that wouldn't be my main weapon. Or I'd, it would be my, my grenades in RE4. Then we have to do a loop de loop here Evie, for some reason. I, I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call I think me? you can only I, I think you can go like halfway across anymore. and then turn what around, else? but it's And I makes want no you difference. to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. The amount of time you're saying, so. Just come back with me. Evie, wait! Did you find her? Yes, but she ran off. She's making more friends, Alan. Those things are everywhere. I told you so. <laughs> Are you okay? You just worry about getting the phone back. Use the bomb to stun those guys. And I close these doors, I believe, yeah. Prevent them from coming after me. I think in, in retrospect, like, while I was concerned that I didn't remember a lot of the strategies that I had, that I had, you know, created for myself in the past, for the most part, it all kind of came back to me, even though I didn't realize that I was doing um, what I would do in the past. If you guys have to understand, like, I played this game twice on the channel, but I have like 17 or 18 completions of this game. Like, I have played and completed this game a buttload of times, so... And that's just on Xbox, I also have a completion on, uh, PlayStation, and I know I have at least one on my old computer, my old laptop. I played this game uh, like religiously for some reason when back in 2018. I had it down to a T. And I think that's why I started liking the ship more because I explained this in detail when I was in the original recording. Even though I was recording myself. Emergency safety lockdown um, system has been engaged. When, they, when I first started playing this, you know, I hated the segment with a passion. I hated the ship. You know, and then like something happened on like my sixth or seventh playthrough of the game where all of a sudden the ship was like my most favorite part and it remained that way for a while and then when i stopped playing this game and then would come back to it year, you know a year or two later then i went back to hate, hating the segment but i think when you know the strategies and you know what to do the ship becomes a lot more enjoyable just because of I don't know. I feel like you, you're able to appreciate Mom, your you? increase, like your improvements in the ship. Like your knowledge will help you a lot in this segment, so you're able to enjoy uh, enjoy being able to do stuff better. Whereas in the house, it's kind of like you can suck or you can play great. Either way, I mean, it, you're gonna get through it, you know, with relative ease.
Literally killed him on the last bullet, which is pretty nice. I think of all the enemies I've killed thus far, that one was, that one was probably the one that I should have worried about the least. I That was a complete waste of ammunition. I mean, I mean, it did let me get those bombs, but I think I could have come in here anyway and he would have despawned. I could have grabbed those. She's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> Don't say that. She trusts you. That little bitch, she never trusts you. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie. trying to take to, control. To... You have to fight her. <laughs> Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me, don't! Evelyn, stop! I was really uh, elated when I got to that room because I was like, damn, we're already like halfway through the ship. So, I didn't think it was going to be... I thought we were going to have to spend a long, uh, longer, larger amount of time. So. If, for whatever reason, uh, this recording also is something fucked up about it, then I will probably just restart from before Jack. Because at that point, it's going to be like, fuck, I'm going to, like, I might as well just redo it, you know? So, but I, I doubt, I mean, we should be good. We'll be together. Knock on wood. Last thing I need is my power to go out. I would, I would. Welcome to like literally the only skippable cutscene in the entire game. Not including like the credits, I guess. I like Mia's uh, jacket there. I don't think we get to ever see her with that on. Or what happened to it. Maybe we get to see her with that in like... The Daughters DLC? That'd be cool. I haven't played that in forever. Maybe I'll do that on the channel. I don't think I ever played that on the Have channel. Do you remember? Yes, Evelyn. I remember. Could we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. Then I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. It looks like I only played... The Not a Hero DLC, I played Nightmares, I did both the easier version of Nightmare, and then I did the Night Terror 
difficulty for Nightmare DLC. And then I did Bedroom. I didn't do the Daughters or 21 or the End of Zoe. Of those three, I'd probably be most likely to do Daughters. I, oh, I also didn't do, like, the arcade modes, like the uh, Ethan Must Die or uh, Jack's 55th birthday, I think it's called. Uh, I didn't really like the, the End of Zoe DLC. I didn't really like the um, Not a Hero either, but... I'd rather play Not a Hero again than play End of Zoe again, honestly. I just thought thought the end, end of Zoe DLC was kind of boring. I'm looking for the... I was talking about there being like a coin in a tackle box in normal right there. But obviously it's not there because we're not on normal. Yeah, the end of Zoe just... I don't know. I just didn't like the whole punching the enemies. I'm sure a lot of people thought that was really cool. But I don't care for melee combat, so in any game. You know, I wanna shoot shit with a gun. You know, I wanna blow the head off of a molded or some shit. I don't wanna be punching them. I don't really find that to be a fun way to play games. Now it was very strong, I'll, I'll give it that. It was uh Joe. I think his name was Joe. He was a badass, but And then the, the, the Not A Hero DLC was just a little bit too, I don't want to say bland, but I don't know. It was a little bit too straight to the point. I felt like there wasn't enough exploration in it. Like even in the house in this game, like there's a, a decent amount of exploration. You know, you can pick and choose where you go for the most part. Obviously there's like locked doors, but in the, the Not A Hero, it was just like point A to point B, kill everything along the way, you know. I do end up getting the Bison, whatever it's called in this game, I can't remember, but I do end up getting that. Uh, I wasn't going to at first, but I decided that it might be good to just have it for Ethan in case he runs out of ammo and, and his other guns. Plus it's, plus it's nice to show y'all how to get it. I mean, I'm sure no one really needs to know how to get that this day and age. It's been out for seven years or some shit, but still, I like showing that kind of stuff. I might try Ethan Must Die a handful of times. Like, record it, and maybe I'll upload that as well. Cause like I said, I never did do that on the channel. I have beat Ethan Must Die. I beat it like five times. I literally, literally just looked at my um, Arnie Net page like a day, day ago, and I think it said five uh, completions for Ethan Must Die. So I've beaten it a good amount of times, but never uh, on the channel. The problem with Ethan Must Die is that it takes a lot of repetition to get the strategy down, because even though there's a lot of randomness to it, that's kind of the whole point. Um, there is still a lot of tricks and stuff that you could do to make it a lot easier, and so uh, it would take me a good minute to, to get that down. And I don't really want to look it up. I'm, I mean, I could just like look up a guide and be like, oh yeah, this is what I do here, this is what I do there, but it is more fun doing it by myself. I just don't know that I want to dedicate two, three, four hours to recording that. get one run completed it probably wouldn't take me that long especially if i got lucky and got like um i don't know why i'm pausing here i think i'm th I, I must be debating on where if i'm gonna get the gun right here or not or maybe i'm trying to figure out where i need to go that's probably what i'm doing actually i think i'm trying to remember where i need to go next <laughs>
I never did get the knife. I don't remember where the knife is on Madhouse for Mia, but I wasn't able to get it, so. Gosh, these guys are so effing ugly. Like, <laughs> jeez. The 21 DLC was pretty cool. I mean, I liked the idea of it. I could not stand the... Um, it, the only thing I've never beaten in this game is the 21 plus survival thing. The final difficulty for that game mode. Because it's not a difficulty. It's just RNG that stack. It's not even RNG. That's the thing. It's not... If it was random, I could deal with it. But it's not. I mean, he, Lucas literally stacks the deck against you. So, I get that that's like, yeah, Lucas would do that. He's the kind of dickwad that would do that. But, from like, a gameplay perspective, it's just not fun for me to have to basically fight against the AI that is cheating. On top of that, I, I could probably deal with it if, if a run of that game mode only took like 15 minutes it doesn't it literally is like a two and a half hour fucking time sink maybe not that long but it's like a, it's like a it's well over an hour that you have to sink into it for one run and if you fuck up that one run you have to start all over like i'm not doing all that i like the game mode just not that much well i never did beat that difficulty for 21 i beat the first two difficulties but and i and i'll, I'll never do it I think that achievement alone is all I'm missing for the 100% completions for all the DLCs. Right here, that antique coin, I did not remember that coin even being there. I actually, I saw that jar down there and out of happenstance decided to look at it. I like saw it and was like, I probably can't interact with that and then I could and sure enough there was a coin in there. So that was complete luck that I saw that. Because... I couldn't have remembered that if I, you know, tried. gonna go in here and you know close the door surely they'll forget about me right fortunately they was able to get them to despawn I tried that same strategy again later and it didn't work so I'm not sure if those two doors have to be closed for that to work, or if maybe... Like, when I tried it later, it did work eventually, but I had to, like, I literally stood in that room where they just despawned from. Like, I stood in that room to get them to despawn, and I just stood there for, like, 20 seconds, waiting for them to dip out, and they didn't. So it was really delayed. Did They did eventually, but I'm not sure why it was so delayed. There could just be, like, an internal clock, I guess. It says, like, you know, they have to be spawned in for X amount of time before they can despawn. Unless you go into a safe room. I was debating whether or not I really wanted to do this right now. Um, this is like the scariest part <laughs> of all of this. I did remember the coin spawn over here.
Uh, I was trying to save that strong chem fluid for Ethan. I think I ended up saving it, but I, I can't remember. I might have used it in a panic, or like forgot that I had the strong one, but I want to save it for Ethan. That way I can use a, a chemical or a separating agent on it and get the strong chem fluid. So right here, you can get both of those started. You really need to basically just deal with that guy, either by shooting or planting a bomb. And you'll be able to get that cable without the fatty interrupting you. You could also, I think if you're perfect, you could probably do that without getting hit by either of them. I mean, I know you can, but... And without killing him, so. I like to use the bomb there, though, because it does delay that fat guy a little bit. If you don't use the bomb there, it's very possible that that fat guy will charge you in that long hallway, which... Ooh, boy, the charges are the scariest part about those dudes. I made the mistake here of activating the elevator. I shouldn't have done that until I got the gun, because... Now that it's powered, it means that if I wanted to, like, come into the elevator for Sanctuary for a second, I'd have to wait for the doors to open. So, definitely a miscal on my part. Like, right this, see? I meant to go back in there to, to despawn him, but I had to wait for it to go back. I was a little bit disoriented here. I wasn't really sure where I needed to go. And then I realized that I wanted to go get the gun first, the, the bison, so I decided to do that. You know, it's funny is I the reason I don't save in that top slot right there, and I actually said this while I was recording. The reason I was keeping that was in case I needed to redo the the area. Like if the recording crashed or something, I wanted to, I needed to get into the habit of keeping a save. Little did I know that uh, that's exactly what happened, but that save doesn't really help me when I'd have to redo like a half hour segment. I mean not half hour, but a good 20 minutes. So. Unfortunately, that guy was looking away from us, so it worked out. That's where the key is for the bison in the locker upstairs. I think the location is different on normal. I'm gonna take my word for that, though. I'm not sure why I don't have the essence of defense in my inventory. I something happened at some point where that got like removed from my inventory. Like I I had all of the unlockable items, and then something occurred where I lost like the essence of defense for some fucking reason. I don't I don't know. I mean obviously it's pointless for this run. I'm not using any of those items, but. I don't even remember how to get the essence of defense. I think this one of the two defense rolls you get from. Gosh, is it beating the game in under a certain amount of time? I think it is. I know infinite ammo you get for uh, beating it in beating Madhouse. The Albert you get just from beating the game for the first time. 
The walking shoes. Oh, did I have the walking shoes in there? I might, may not have. Can't remember if I had those or not either. But the walking shoes, I think are. I think those are the time-based one. That would make sense. If you don't know what the scrolls do, um, if you only have one of the two scrolls in your inventory, you'll take like 50% less damage when you guard, something like that. If you have both of them, you can probably guess it. Basically, you'll be immune to damage when you're guarding, at least when you get hit from the front while you're guarding. So they're very powerful things. There would be a lot of the madhouse runs I would do, like I would not even run like, I've only ever used infinite ammo, like, once or twice. I think one of them I did use in the, my original Let's Play of this on the Madhouse. That was an idiot. You, you really don't need infinite ammo. I mean, especially if you're running, uh, scrolls. I mean, even the scrolls, even though they're not, like, a weapon that's gonna one-shot, like, the circular saws or anything, the scrolls just themselves are just as OP, so. If you're not sure if you have the ability to get the saw or the uh, infinite ammo, then you can just try to get the scrolls and you'll be, you'll be golden. Looks like you can get the Secrets of Defense by completing the game on normal, just like with the Albert. Oh, and okay, so then the Essence of Defense, you have to kill all of the uh, Mr. the Bobblehead things, the Mr. Everywhere dolls. for Essence. I can't remember which one I don't have. Is it Essence? Maybe that is the one that's that bugged out and got removed from inventory. Because like I said, I've gotten these Everywhere dolls plenty of times. On all of my, most of my playthroughs, I've, I've chewed them. And I have the achievement for it, so I don't, I don't know why it got removed from my inventory at some point. Let's see, the walking shoes. He's waiting. Yeah, the, the walking shoes you get from beating the game quickly, but it doesn't. This particular guy doesn't say. I think it's like four hours to beat it under. But you don't have to do that on Madhouse. You can do that on Easy if you wanted to. That guy right there, I actually didn't know he had spawned in. I just kind of had a feeling that there was something behind me, so I turned around and sure enough. I mean, you probably don't need to kill him. But once again, coming through the zone later is, is sketchy enough, so it's probably best because I don't know if he respawns at all, so coin Bison definitely makes a four uh, legged bolted pretty easy to deal with Right here, I tried to find something to drop to get 
space, but I couldn't quite figure out what I could get rid of. I mean, I really don't think there is anything I could have done. If I only had one regular heal, I could have used that, topped off my health, and then had a spot, but I had two. And all of my ammo stacks were pretty decent stacks, so if I had like a stack of like one handgun bullet, I would have just disregarded it, discarded it rather. I was checking right there to see if I could like send the co the coin to your item box. Um, with all of the like unlockable items, like the shoes, the essence of defense, the you know uh, Albert and all that, like you can um, send those directly to your storage box if you need to. I was checking to see if I could do the same with the coin, but... Right here... Well, if you don't get hit, like I did, because I'm a moron. Just basically use one bomb... Flop him on his ass and then run, run by him. I don't know if he can follow you down here, but I've never had him follow me down here, so I, I don't think he can. I use that for my inventory directly, just because... Oh, there's the last coin, as you saw. I use that for my inventory directly, just because I didn't want to accidentally use the... I don't know if it was going to put, like, the... The heavy heal. Use that. Because I was pretty low health, so I didn't want to accidentally use that. I think we're already. Yeah, we're already there. Ethan. Basically, we're actually gonna cut to the main game now because this is this is when I realized I went to go mute my mic and realized that it it had been muted the entire time. I'm not gonna hurt you. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pause this. Close. And we're gonna watch the cutscene from the actual game now. I can't believe I did that. Such a dumb move on my part. Ethan. Ethan. Hey, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped it. But what do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite. Nor my boy, Lucas. Or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? <sighs> she infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. <sighs> I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to... Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family, please. Gosh, I love that cutscene so much. It's so sad, but important, honestly. 
Stay away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? I wonder if this shit has, like, a smell to it. I mean, you can usually smell mold, so... But it's definitely oh. does. Mia, how? There's no time. You have to get out of here and find her. Here, take this. What? Wait, wait. what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. No. Now go kill that little bitch. No. No. Mia! No! Alright, we got an autosave. I'm gonna get to the save point from one in the episode there. Ooh, there's a coin for us. All your fault, huh? Yeah, that cutscene just with Jack, I, I love that cutscene. I love that they really show him and his family in the true light. Like, they were just a regular family. I mean, Lucas, I think, was kind of always fucked up, but even Lucas was probably pretty... Well, no, I was about to say <laughs> Lucas was probably pretty tame before this all happened, but Lucas did kill his fucking friend from, like, middle school, so... Lucas is just a fucking... Sociopath. Maybe not even. That almost feels like a too gracious of a word for him. I know that there's a coin spawn. Oh! <laughs> hey! Speaking of the devil, I was about to say there's a coin spawn back that way in, uh, normal mode, but I was very wrong. The queen spawn was, in fact, right there on the Madhouse, so hell yeah. Take it. Alright, we are in the safe room. It's nice to have a... Nice to actually be playing time or now let's get that separating agent all this shit and let's go ahead and well we'll end the episode here and i'm gonna actually start the next one right away so uh thank you everyone so much for watching i'm very sorry about forgetting to uh you know actually unmute myself for this episode but you know that it happens it happens and i'm happy that uh I'm happy that we were able to get through that segment as quickly as we were. Um, so yeah, in the hopefully for the rest of this series, we will have no more hitches, no more problems. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks again, so everyone, so much for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next one.